Hello, everybody. This is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is Super Bowl. Super Bowl. So what we'll do is we'll get started in a minute. Uh, I'll wait for people to jump on here. Thanks, Meta and Algorithms and all the employees. Mark Zuckerberg, uh, thank you for getting this message out to everyone. <clears throat> and uh, we'll get started in uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, Craig. Hi, Mary. How are you? Oh my God, where's Bill? No, I'm kidding. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys uh, being on here. And uh, that was funny. You know, you must be traveling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, you have. Hi, Melody. Love you. Hey, Craig, how are you? People got to get used to me doing videos every day again. Uh, it's funny. You, you stop for a little bit, and then everybody's like, ah. Hey, Arthur, great to see you. Uh, thank you on here. Uh, thank you. I, I, I'm feeling better every day. Oh, yeah. My wife wife set the appointment and out, out I go. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, buddy. My name is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Now, one of the things is funny. I actually seen a video that I did a year ago, and it was You Are the Winner. So it's probably someplace on my on my profile or on YouTube. And I got Craig here, so we'll find it. Hi, Paul. And one of the things that I found very unique, a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, it's like, well, what team are you? Um, it, it, you know, I grew up in North Dakota, Montana, not any really, you know, you're, you, you sort of, you know, people actually become fans based on territory. We don't have any professional teams. <laughs> And so it was like, it was never something. So that's why I was really partial to racing. Racing is, uh, you know, a, a local event thing that I could get involved in. But with that said, one of the uniqueness that I see about everything, think about this, everything uh, is, you know, I watch the Super Bowl because I love the stories. I just love the stories, the inspirational stories of you know, the quarterbacks, you know, uh, two African-American quarterbacks and then, you know, getting to play against each other. And then you hear the stories of them and the Kelsey brothers, you know, and uh, it's just I, I just am blown away that, you know, even the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, when his parents told him at a young age, he's I mean, his parents seen him at a young age, you know, say that you know, that he heard the national anthem at a Super Bowl, you know, and all of a sudden he said, one day, one day, I'm going to uh, be on the sidelines of a Super Bowl game. And I'm like, ah, I, I just love these because everybody dreams, you know, most people, you know, when they're younger dream, but there's two kinds of dreams, you know what I mean? There is the dream of the person that visually imagining puts it into imagination and puts it in a vision vision inspires success in others now and they just are caught onto that dream in an emotional level you know constantly dreaming about if that can happen it can happen for me and there's a lot of people that might have that dream but then they let other people's opinions talk them out of it they let every one of these people have a story of, you know, of um, <clears throat> winning the ring. But, you know, at times like Michael Jordan, when they were cut from the team, you know what I mean? That they didn't get a scholarship, uh, that they got cut from that team. So when you hear the common denominator of every successful person, the common denominator is it's not a straight road from where you are to where you're going. You know what I mean? And so I think it's unique because there's a, a group of people that are inspired by the game itself, inspired by the players itself. And then you got people that are inspired by the commercials. Well, if you're inspired by the commercials and not the game, um, that's still creativity. See, there's a bunch of people sitting around with some pretty hefty co you know, competition from the years of the Super Bowl commercials going, wow, can we create something? Can we direct and film something that all of a sudden, you know, bingo hits? You know what I mean? I don't have a new profile picture. 
So, so I seen someone put there. Hey, if I got a new profile fit, fit picture, it's like uh, it, it must be a fake account. So anyway, the the whole point of that is that you're watching these people that are creators of c creating commercials. And by the way, the one that won was you know the rabbits throwing people down the rabbit holes, you know, for Tubli or whatever. That was the one that won the the award. And there was a lot of great commercials. And then there's what? The entertainment. So whether you like Rihanna or not, uh, I don't know anything about her. I, I do, uh, I've heard a couple of her songs, but I don't know any of her songs. But it, it is amazing that there's not only a group of people, so when you look at the total thing from Fox and NFL, you know, you're, 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 you got people that are inspired by the musical act or the halftime show, the people that are inspired by the commercials, the people that are inspired by the players. And then you got a whole nother group of people, right? And um, that whole group of people have to hate on everything. <laughs> there's, there's not a, what would be the word? There's not a trophy for being the world's best hater or the world's best troll or the worst best critic. So I, I'm like, I, I don't even understand, you know, LeBron, uh, not LeBron, John, LeBron, Kobe Bryant said, I, I just don't understand lazy. I don't get it. I'll never get it. I don't get it. I don't get that you can do something to make yourself better and you just say no. I don't get lazy. I don't get negative. I don't get how, oh my God, this is negative. Oh my God, this is negative. Oh my God, this is negative. And I don't mind throwing this out here because it's true. You know, the people that seem to be most awoke and most lightened, you know, as far as their religion, you know, are the most judgmental haters. It's mind boggling. It's like, don't you want to wear your what would Jesus do bracelet? Because I'm telling you what, Jesus wouldn't be on social media trolling and hating and judging and criticizing everything. It's just mind boggling to me. So, you know, me, I love being happy. I love being at peace. I love joy. I love being inspired. I mean, me and my wife are talking about certain commercials in, in the Super Bowl, and me and her are not, you know, Kansas City or Philadelphia fans or Super Bowl fans or Rihanna fans or commercial fans, um, but we talked about the stories of inspiration of these people that at one time seen themselves doing a, wow, wouldn't it be big enough to be where, where money was not an issue in my life, where I didn't have to worry about being in desperation anymore? And wouldn't it be good if I got good enough at my art that, that, that millions, hundreds of millions of people watched it? And in the hundreds of millions of people that watched it, I got to do the best that I could do. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? And so it, it's just, uh, that that's just my deal. I love watching, again, next Sunday is gonna be the uh, the Daytona 500. Um, you know, I don't need a dog in the fight. I don't need um, to, to, I just wanna be inspired. I wanna see people and the human potential that people have in their life and their and, and consistency and persistence of each and every day getting better and better, which, you know, I love the word Kaizen. Kaizen is a never ending improvement of you just being better than who you are. And too much is given, much is required. And I'll leave you this one thing before I finish. This blows me away. When I see something like the Super Bowl happen, it made me think as far as my gratefulness, and being inspired. Where can something like this happen anywhere else in the world? Think about that. You know, the Olympics, pretty big deal. You know, 
and they move that around from country to country. Pretty big deal. Uh, World Cup, you know, football, you know, what United States people call soccer, that moves around. But we have the World Series, the Indianapolis 500, the uh, Daytona 500, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, baseball, basketball, football, you know, all these uh, big, big, big events. And I'm like, wow, I know that a lot of people might criticize and judge and, and make a big deal uh, about how much they hate this country. Uh, I don't hate this country. <laughs> So while people are singing the national anthem and they show the young coach of the Eagles and, and tears are streaming down his face and, and one of the Kelsey brothers and, and, you know, they got their hands on their hearts and, you know, it's like, um, I love to stay in a state of inspiration, excitement, joy, peace, love, compassion, empathy, uh, imagination daydreamer, you know, uh, put me in that category, not to everything sucks, everything's criticized, everything's trolled, everything's hater. Um, wow, I just can't imagine each and every day getting up, thinking about how much life sucks and how much I suck and how much I want to help other people's life suck. So uh, there you go. Just, just, Pick, pick it, pick, pick the category that you'd like to run in. You become who you hang around. And uh, yeah, what if every day you were actually listening to or watching or in, in, in feeling, feeling and being inspired by success stories of people instead of the negative. So love and appreciate you. I'm glad to be back. Thank you for much, so much for your thoughts and prayers. Uh, while um, I was getting 100%, I feel good right now, and I know I'm going to feel better tomorrow and on. So love and appreciate you. Please do me a huge personal favor and share this video. Uh, and um, be followed by inspiration and, and, and led by inspiration and imagination and creativity. We are created to create, uh, not to destroy. And so... Love and appreciate you. If no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, if I can do it, you can do it. And uh, love and appreciate you. And I believe in you and I know you can do it. See you on the next video. Bye for now.